Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker. I'm with BonnieBayCrochet.com and I wanted to show you today how to block acrylic. Um, most times crocheters uh, use acrylic. That's one of my favorite uh, economical um, materials to use. I don't like to use other things as well. Um, sometimes you need to make sure that the pieces you're working with are a particular size. Today I'm going to show you a special tool that I found that's particularly handy. This is actually um, made by, this is called Quilters Cut and Press 2. Um, I found this at my local fabric store. Um, it's actually made for quilters. The back side is you know, kind of hard for cutting material. Uh, I'm not much of a quilter. I'm going to use this other side, which as you can see is, is, is padded and, and a bit cushy here, which is great for um, sticking pins in it. Um, I also have some pins and a pin cushion so I don't lose them. I like to use large pin heads here so that I don't leave any around for someone unsuspecting to find. Um, another thing you're going to need is an iron and um, one that has steam for acrylic and um, I'm going to be showing you how to mount some of these and show you how to block them. Okay, I've already pinned some of these items that I'm going to block to the board. Um, in particular, I have this one piece where this, this row tends to curl under and I'm not real crazy about that, so I'm going to try to try to force it to, to stay out and I am using the edge using the edge here as a guide so that I pin this as, as neatly and as accurately as I can. Um, this might be something you'd want to do if, for example, if you're working on a scarf that maybe has a row that curls under um, that's made of acrylic, you can, you can use the same method. Um, be mindful of the manufacturer's instructions on how to handle, how to clean, how to steam or whatever, uh, the fabric that you're using, the fibers that you're using, because whether you're using acrylic or wool, or, or cotton or whatever or, or the special silk or blends or whatever all that is going to vary and you're going to have to be really careful as to not ruin what you're working with um, so I will say again just to specify I am working with um, more common acrylics right here um, specifically these are actually uh, some red heart acrylics this is a uh, simply uh, not simply soft this is the uh, soft by red heart and this is some of the with love with red heart and, and trimmed in another another type of uh, acrylic. So, okay, so I have the different pieces pinned to my board, um, and these are two matching epaulets that I'm working on for a, a special project. And I was careful to make sure that the number of boxes that the space takes up are equal. I mean, you don't have to do it by the numbers, so to speak, but um, you can just count the boxes, how wide, how long you want the piece to be. Okay, so now I've got everything pinned the way I want. So my next step is to take my iron. I have it set on a wool steam setting. I am not going to put the iron directly on the pieces. If I did, I would probably melt the fabric. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the iron about an inch to a half an inch above, just like this and you can maybe see the steam coming from the iron. Okay, and I can, I can feel the fabric is actually wet from the steam at that point. It's not hurt the fabric, you're not melting the pins or anything, but you can just hold the iron just like that above. Again, I'm not, I'm not touching the fabric with the iron. Okay. Okay, I think that's pretty good, so I'm going to just pull the iron aside. I'm going to actually turn it off so I don't burn my house down. And I'm going to just let these pieces, they're a little damp from the um, steam. So I'm just going to let these sit aside, let them dry, and let's say after, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour, once I feel like they're thoroughly dry, I will remove them and they should stay in place. So this is how to block acrylic pieces as you crochet. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.